Hey guys, let's talk about the fallacy of composition. Well, what does it mean? First of all, individual sense makes collective nonsense. To explain that, we're going to use the example of the paradox of savings. The paradox of saving is very simple to understand. First of all, let's look from the perspective of an individual person, of you and me. Now you, if you want to save money, what is the easiest way to do that? Well, it's very simple. You're going to spend less. By spending less money, you're going to save more. That's very simple from an individual point of view. Alright guys, now let's just think about it from a society point of view. It's very simple to understand that if everyone agrees on saving, everyone is going to spend less. Therefore, firms are not able to sell their goods anymore. At that point, they have to lay off people. People are getting more and more unemployed, the economy is slipping into a recession. What does it mean, a recession? Well, it's very simple. Income is getting less, so our income is also getting less. At the end of all, we are not able to save that much money. So by trying to save money in the first place as an entire society, we are not able to do that in the long run because of the recessions in the economy. That's the point where you have to understand that as a society itself, it's only possible to save money by spending money. Now, to understand the paradox of saving or the paradox of thrift, however you want to call it, from an individual perspective, it might make sense to save money by spending less, in an individual sense, but as a society, you only can save more by only spending money.